Hello and thanks for joining us. Holly Shields here for Calkine TV, welcoming you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. The show where we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners and market experts all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock markets. On today's show, we're joined by David Hayes, CEO and co-founder of Jeeves Plus, a customer service platform that lets businesses manage multiple text-based conversations with customers. It translates into 109 languages as well. Welcome to the show, David. It's a pleasure e-meeting with you. No, thank you very much for the opportunity to, uh, to have a chat with you and your uh, viewers. Thanks for joining us. So G Plus was founded in 2015 and translates into, as I mentioned, a whopping 109 languages. What was the inspiration behind launching the brand? Look, thank you. I, I think that the first conversation that really inspired me to build the platform was back in 19, uh, I'm sorry, 2015, when a hotel owner said, I'd love to have a better communication uh, platform for my guests and I'd love to be able to have the opportunity where my staff could communicate where guests uh, had English as their second language. By example, uh, a Chinese uh, national may come into a hotel, Chinese national doesn't communicate with the hotel or engage with the hotel and when they don't do that, they don't spend in the hotel. But what we did uh, is then looked at what communications channels were ubiquitous in the marketplace across the globe. And what we discovered is that SMS, the short message service, is a ubiquitous application globally. Every mobile on the planet has the SMS functionality. So we said, OK, let's start there. So what we did is we provided a platform by which a guest in the hotel could text to a dedicated hotel number in 109 languages. That message would come into the platform, it would be translated to English, and it would then be presented to a live operator. In this particular instance, the, um, the concierge, and the concierge would reply in uh, English, and that English would then be retranslated back and sent to their mobile phone um, in their native language. And Hence the name Jeeves, which is the quintessential butler. So we sort of coined the phrase, your mobile concierge. Right. So it's very um, a big help to uh, people struggling with language barriers, I imagine. Oh, look, I, what we've had is this opportunity by which we had the first hospitality experience and we now have developed the platform quite dramatically. Uh, based on customer feedback and, and uh, especially operator feedback. And we now have a situation where we've taken the, the majority of messaging platforms. So SMS is a messaging platform. SMS is data. So data can be, man be manipulated and hence the language translation. But more interestingly, we've gone, said, okay, let's take this a couple of steps further. So we now have SMS. Facebook Messenger, which is, you know, you know I think there's 1.2 billion people using Facebook Messenger now. And of course, Google Business Messenger, which is the ability to um, chat with your customers directly from search or from maps on Google. And also now we have web chat. So, you know, that little bubble on the bottom right hand corner of most websites now. So you can have those principal channels, which covers off the majority of communications channels and directly um, engage with the live operators in 109 languages. So we're very excited about the opportunity and, and I think that where we're really heading is messaging as a customer service tool as against voice. So people are, when they ring a particular number, they're hijacked on that voice call and the operator can only handle that one call at one time. So Forrester did a recent research where a voice call cost $4.80, a messenger uh, customer service engagement was only 60 cents. So it was a bit silly not to 
consider messaging as a customer service platform. So we've taken it from the hospitality industry and now looking after e-commerce, insurance, um, superannuation, uh, general um, uh, customer service of any nature really. And we're very excited about the fact that we're launching now in the UK and the US. So it's, uh, it's a very exciting time all around. Right, so it sounds like you're expanding your operations. We are. We find that the opportunity uh, in the US is massive. Uh, by example, we've also had a, a situation where a substantial call centre in the UK has taken us on to help manage all of the European customer service. So we, because we can handle German, French, Italian, Greek, uh, Russian uh, and those Eastern Bloc countries, uh, so it's a very, very um, uh, effective uh, platform for them to communicate with their customers and engage with their customers. And we're also now doing uh, multilingual broadcasts. So I think that you know, companies that are considering you know, their, their marketplace and say to themselves, okay, well, I might have a, a percentage of my customers who are not English speaking, but they also can use messaging for good old fashioned English customer service too. Um, but one of the, the one of the discoveries we've had with the uh, the experience is um, the ability for the hearing impaired to finally have a very easy and elegant solution for engaging with you know um, uh, physicians and and, uh, and hearing clinics and things like that. And we're experimenting in that marketplace at the moment. I think that's very valuable. They're obviously a group that I think needs more mainstream attention. Oh, look, there's no question about it. But I think that the the interesting thing about the hearing impaired is, uh, <laughs> and it still defies me, is that you know, hearing impaired clinics are advertising on radio when people can't really hear. So it's a bit. I always found that a bit of a uh, sort of juxtaposition. Suffice to say though that I think that uh, the ability to be able to text message either through SMS, Facebook Messenger, Google Business Messenger or Web Chat and have that history of that conversation also provides you the ability to have data. Now when you have the data you can also analyse the conversation and analyse the trends of the conversation and you'll get a deeper understanding of that customer and that's customer's requirements. So in general, we're, you know, I'm, my, my passion in life is to try to solve the language problem and uh, to have a, a, an Australian company that can go global and uh, quite frankly, have a bit of fun and, and uh, you know, find out what people are really thinking, what they really like and engaging with, with customers. Right. And I understand actually that you also maintain a customer relationships management phone book. How does that help business? Look, I think the most important thing is know who your friends are. You know, in building a business from scratch, and I started this business when in my 60s. So doing a tech startup in your 60s is about as crazy as you get. But my phone book um, has, you know, over the last 40 odd years contained some unbelievable resources and people who, you know, are very good at marketing, people who are very good at sales, people who are very good in, in, in technology and more importantly than anything else, mentors that can say to you, David, I think your idea is great, but, and having that ability to have a mentor to guide you through these you know, these early stages of any new business are incredibly valuable. But that phone book, I guess it's one of those things where you have a, an opportunity to be able to engage with uh, people across various uh, services um, and especially in government as well, that they can give you their honest opinion and they can give you the guidance and they can help you because people in general, their people's general nature is to help people and people want to help people and people want to help new businesses. And I, on the other hand, have had the 
opportunity to be able to get calls from some of those phone book people and say, Dave, look, I need a bit of help on this, I need a bit of help on that. Uh, or a charity might ring me and say, Dave, look, you know, I, need, I know you've got this uh, facility, can we use this facility? Um, and I say, of course you can. And I would give that facility to a charity for, for no fee whatsoever. Um, and I think that's uh, an important thing that we have to give back uh, in, our, in our overall business thinking. Right, I definitely agree there. And um, would you say that you're expecting to see an increase in the need for Jeeves' services as borders open up and travel gets back to its regular tune? Well, look, I think that uh, there's no question about it. You know, if once travel resumes, I think that, you know, there'll be more and more opportunity. But I, you know, for the growth of Jeeves in that sort of the tourism, the hospitality market. But what I'm also saying is that, you know, people want a convenient customer service. And the most important thing is to provide uh, people with a service that enables them to resolve an issue efficiently and elegantly and in their language. So one of the things that we're sort of the phrase we've coined is talk to your customers on their device in their language. And I think that marketing in general in the, in the, in the future will need to include messaging as a channel. I don't dismiss the fact that your voice will always be there and people will always want to talk to people. But I think messaging is increasingly um, becoming more and more relevant. No question. Definitely. I think um, the consumer has gotten used to it as well. Well, look, you know, I think that, you know, when you have a situation when you're using a channel that you use to communicate with your, you know, your partners, your friends, your relatives, your sons, your daughters, etc. Um, you know, I'm a perfect example. I've, you know, I've got three daughters and uh, uh, they live on messaging. Uh, but I think that the important thing to understand too is that messaging can include links. So within that message, you can have a link to a video, a survey, a payment, and mobile commerce and messaging are joined at the hips. So if you really want to have a fast, efficient and elegant methodology by which people can pay for uh, certain goods and services, messaging is a perfect vehicle to use. So I think the future of messaging um, is, is very bright. And I think the future of messaging on a global scale is very bright. And I'm very excited to have the multilingual element to add the cherry on top of the cake, as they say. Definitely agree there, sounds promising. On that note, it is about time to wrap up, but might I say, David, your insights have been invaluable. Thanks so much for joining us today. Look, I thank you very much for the opportunity and, and Kalkan TV is a fantastic initiative and I wish you all the very best and uh, very happy to provide uh, the platform to some of your uh, for your your viewers and uh, and very happy to give it at a special Calcon discount as well. Thanks, David. Thank you. And thanks for your time as well, viewers. Stay tuned for more live updates as we say here. Stay apprised and invest wise with Calcine.